everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have an 8x8 inch canvas that I'm going to do some blooms on. Um, I've tried a couple of times and not had success here today. What I was going to do is a swipe and then blooms on top, but I found out that the swipe was just way too much color for the bloomed blooms themselves and it just didn't turn out looking right. So I think what I'm going to do is only use one of the colors that I had used in a prior swipe. But let's go over my paints. I have the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down. And the only color I'm going to um, put on top of that before I do my blooms is the Folk Art Color Shift um, Pink Flash Rose Brilliant. I'm just going to put a couple of streaks of that on and maybe blow it around a little bit. And then um, for the blooms, I'm going to use Color Art Primary Elements. The colors are Olive Vine, Snapdragon, Blue Bayou, and the last one is the Plumeria. Very pretty. And I'm using the um, Amsterdam Titanium White as my topper. And it's three parts Floetrol to one part of that Amsterdam paint. And I did add about three drops of the Minwax uh, wood stain uh, into that to see if I can get the bloom effect. So in my regular paints, the other two paints I'm using, um, it was uh, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirt of Gak 800, no silicone today, and I did thin these paints a little bit with my 90% um, water, 10% uh, Floetrol mixture. So what I think I'm going to do is just put a couple of real light streaks on this pane here. Just like that. And I may use my little um, air compressor gun, maybe just to blow them a little bit here and there, just to give it a little, spread it out a little bit, give it a little bit different effect. And hopefully this won't be too busy or beneath those blooms. We'll just have to see. Just learn by experimenting here. Okay, and now I will start with my blooms. I'm going to try and do little blooms if I can. Purple is so beautiful. And now for the topper. Okay, and I'm just going to blow this out myself this time, just to let it get started. I'll blow down and out. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit there a minute.
going to turn it now. I'm going to let it sit there just a little bit more because things are still developing in there. See some lacing here in, in the middle. And I'm going to use my little air compressor again to see if I can blow this out. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Turn it again. Okay, and I might blow up myself again just a little bit to soften up those edges. The only thing I don't like is right there. And what I'm going to do is take a stick and I'm going to try and get that out and replace it with some white. Trying to hide a little bit of that blue there. Okay. Before I do anything work on that, I'm going to try another bloom now. And I'm going to put it right here. So let's get started with that. I'm going to try and use a little bit more pink in this one. I think I, I would like more pink in it to go with that background color. Now the topper. I'm going to blow it out now and see what I can get. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to let that sit there a minute. A lot of things are happening there. <clears throat> okay. Again, I'm going to try and use my little air compressor gun here blow this out a little first I'm going to put some more white around here to help this move doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be quite a bit very much right here Okay, a little more happy with that. Okay, let's give it a try here. I got a little close there. May have to fix that. Try and take some of this out and put some more paint in there. See if I can fix that. going here. I think I'll do the rest by myself here. Just softening up that flower a little bit.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Very pretty. Just a little bit bright here. Okay, very happy. Okay, and because I did not use house paint, I'm going to torch this a little bit. Looks like I can see the canvas right in this area here. I don't know why that happened, but Let's see if I can do something about that. And I think that's still too much paint there. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, I think I will just add a little more paint right here. And I will finish the rest of the canvas off off camera and I will get you down for a close-up. I'm very happy with the way this turned out and I'll tell you, I'll show you some of my favorite areas. Again, this is a little eight by eight canvas. This is the upper left-hand corner and I, and I really do love how that, that, um, uh, color shift paint played with these uh, bloom flowers. Very pretty. Almost looks like ribbons. And this is the lower left-hand corner. That flower turned out very nice. Very pretty. And this is the upper right-hand corner. And this flower again turned out very pretty also. Just you can see the lacing in there and the purple. The purple and the green right up in that area is so pretty. I'll show you my favorite area is, is right here. How this green just it's so muted around the edge like that. It's so pretty with the contrast of this um, color flash paint. Yes, I'm very happy with how this turned out. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now. Everybody, I just had to show you this little bonus bit at the end of this video. Um, I poured this this uh, painting off camera right after I finished the video. Um, and I just wanted to show you the results. It, it just turned out beautiful. Um, I love the color art primary elements. They, they just mix so, so well with everything else in this painting. And uh, as a background, I put down a very 
very dark, um, dark, dark green. It's actually a Blickrick uh, phthalo green mixed with the Mars black. And again, it looks like a vine or leaves. And I just thought that that turned out so neat. But this is this painting, and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing this one also. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.